Ooh, a little crappie. Nice. Hey folks, Chris here. So I went out and picked up a little Honda outboard motor for the Bass Pro Shop Palm Prowler 8 boat. Took it out today for a little bit of a test spin, had a blast on it. So I'm gonna include some of that footage here and kind of show the motor in action. But I wanted to go over a few of the specs in case you're in the market for something like this for your kayak or small boat. And I thought I'd also kill two birds with one stone and cover some of the little upgrades slash modifications that I've done to this boat uh, for my own personal fishing preferences. So the motor itself, again, is a Honda, and this is a two horsepower, four stroke engine. I like that a lot better than a two stroke personally because you don't have to mix the oil and gas. You just put them in their own separate compartments there and you're ready to go. The factory prop that came with the motor is made out of a lightweight plastic, but feels like it ought to be pretty durable for the places that I plan on taking the boat and the type of fishing that I'm gonna be doing. Now you could always upgrade this to a heavier duty material, I suppose, if you wanted to. On the front here, you've got a little tiller handle with your throttle control. And you've also got your safety shut off kill switch. It's got a fuel on and off lever there. And then you got your choke over here on the left hand side. Like most every outboard motor, you've got your adjustments down here you can make for how high or low you want it to set on the transom. And then also you can swing it up and uh, prop it up in place when you're getting ready to transport your boat. It's got a small one liter internal tank and it's actually rated to run at full throttle for about an hour on a full tank. So that's crazy good for fuel economy. And of course you could always take a little extra canister of some fuel and if you were out there running all day long and just you know wearing it out, you could refill as you were out there on the lake, I suppose. A few of the other upgrades or modifications that I've done to the boat include adding this little paddle on the side here with a mounted clip to hold it. And then I put a piece of a Velcro cable tie there to keep it in place when I'm moving around. And right after I first got the boat, I added some of these 3M, they're actually like broom holders or you know tool holders that you put on the wall, but they work out great for fishing rod holders as well as you can see there. And I mounted a couple of those in the boat to hold some fishing rods. I mounted another one of those on the other side of the boat here, and I usually use it to hold this Frayville telescoping folding net that I got from Bass Pro Shops. If you have a kayak or a small boat and space is at a premium, I highly recommend one of these nets. They're great. I added a Scotty mount here on the right side of the boat where I can store a fishing rod if I'm going to retie or just need to free my hands up for a moment. This is the trolling motor that I currently have on here. It's a Minn Kota Endura 34 pound thrust. It's got a little battery meter on top of it, which is pretty helpful. Uh, telescoping handle there, five speeds. And since I put the outboard motor on, I moved that thing up to the front of the boat and just flipped the power head away around there so you know it'll pull the other direction. And also, this boat came uh, pre-wired with one of these little outlet receptacles here. So I just wired straight into that and uh, keeps it nice and neat, shorter cord, which I really like. Christine and the kids picked me up one of these Garmin Striker 4 CV fish finders for my birthday this past year. And I added it on top of an ammo canister. And then I put a lithium battery inside here to power that unit. And then I got online and ordered one of these Scotty adjustable transducer arm mounts so I can flip this thing up and down when I transport the boat. And in the bottom of the boat here, I just put some of this like gym flooring, this matting material that I picked up at Home Depot down in there. You don't have to use that, of course. I uh, just found that it makes it a little bit more comfortable on your feet when you're standing up in there for a few hours and uh, also not as slippery as that plastic boat is once your feet get wet. Another simple little DIY mod that I added was I put this kayak gear track on here and then made a little makeshift telescoping camera holder uh, for a smartphone. So I can throw my iPhone in this and you know take some angles and different footage sometimes as opposed to just my GoPro. As far as convenience and just making the fishing experience better, this anchor trolley that I put on, which I picked up at Walmart for a few bucks a little while back, has been one of the best things or one of my favorite things I've put on here. You can pull your anchor up and down while you're just sitting in the back of the boat with one arm. Makes it a lot easier and faster. 
And that's about it for the modifications that I've done so far. But the more I fish out of this thing and the more I use it, I find more things to tinker with. And I guess that's kind of the way it goes with any boat uh, and personal preference. So I'm going to throw in a few clips here of the test run that I did and let you kind of see the motor run. And then also I caught a pretty nice crappie that I'll throw in here as well. Let's see if we can get this thing to fire up on a cold morning here. Second crank, so let's turn the choke off and get it. There's a little fish. What we get here? Ooh, a little crappie. Nice. Pretty good one. And he picked this thing up. It's the blue trout magnet. Yeah, that's not a bad one at all. Take a quick measurement on him here. So he's right at about 11 inches there. Let's let him go here. <laughs> 